and here's why. All of you know that last year I got to run against the real Donald Trump. Well, this year, this year, the leading Republican running for governor is a, uh, the closest thing to a Trump clone that I've ever seen in your state. No, I really mean it. And uh, he's leading the other team. He's the clone of Donald Trump. Can you imagine him being governor of this state? You can't let that happen. There's too much at stake. And here's why it's so important for you all to vote no on the recall. First, voting no will be protecting California from Trump Republicans trying to block us from beating this pandemic. Right. <laughs> COVID-19, Gavin Newsom has had the courage to lead, stand up for science, for the very thing he's been one of the leading governors in the nation, protecting people and vaccinating his state. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, we see something else in parts of America. Right now, there are certain Republican governors, like the governor of Mississippi, who are tall and talking to me about being dictatorial, about demanding that people get vaccinated or tested. People are doing everything they can to block or undermine the life-saving mandates we proposed, putting their people at risk, putting their children at risk, putting their states at risk. And here's the worst thing. For these Republican governors, it isn't about public health, about the health of the people. It's about politics. Look, folks, just look at the hypocrisy. The same governors who are attacking me and your governor for COVID-19 mandates are in a state with some of the strictest vaccine mandates for children attending school in the whole country. Talk about inconsistency. In Mississippi, <clears throat> children are required to be vaccinated against measles, mumps, rubella, chickenpox, hepatitis B, polio, tetanus, and more. It's a state requirement. <clears throat> but now, in the midst of this pandemic that has taken over 650,000 lives, I propose a mandate for COVID-19 vaccines. And it's an outrage. It's an infringement on freedom. Look, folks, <clears throat> we don't need politics in this battle against COVID. We need science. We need courage. We need leadership. We need Gavin Newsom.